Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always with you in Shafiri. In this video, I'm going to show you one Git client I used recently, which is very effective and will make you more productive into your day-to-day -day Android development or any kind of development job. Let's get started. So here I have like just an empty project to try on, like this is always the UT project. And here's the client, which is called Lazy Git. It is called Lazy Git. Here it is. Like there's a lot of contribution here, there's a lot of stars here, forks and everything. So it is really a good project. When you have a terminal, something like that, this will be launched in the terminal where you can set up and everything. And you will do basically all the commands that you do with Git, like adding, staging files, for example, committing, creating branches, merging, fetching, pooling, pushing and everything. So I will show you the shortcuts here, but this is really a good project. You can work with this project in your Windows, for example, like I'm doing here in your Mac, Linux, and everything. So here to start it, like I have installed it. Well, you can use it here in your terminal here, but I don't like it very much. You can use this it like that. It will give you this thing, but I don't use it here. Usually I start separate command line, basically it. That way, as you can see here is this terminal thing. Now, sometimes, I try to use CMDR, but in this case, I will just using this like normal uh, command prompt from Windows. So the first thing is that there is different section here. There is the status thing. There is this one, this one, local branches, this for the commits, this for the stash, and this like this general thing here that can show you the differences. So basically you can move here with, with arrows, of course, you can move here with left and the right arrows. And basically you can, check the menu using the X like that. You can see here using this shortcuts, you can do many comments. For example, you can use space to toggle the stage file. For example, let's say that I want like to commit this file. Okay, so here in this file, I can see what I've deleted and what I have added. So this is the camera X, for example. I can do just space and the file is staged. You know, imagine that even if you told me that I use get aliases or something like comment aliases in which you Push, for example, GA, but this is the minimum, right? You can, like I saw some people use Git A, for example, or something like that, like some alias that some sort of shortcut to the git.add command, something like that. But here it is just space, it's one case drop. And I can unstatch like that, stash like that. And even like here, for example, I can commit it. I can tap on C, for example, here, and I can write my commit message. All right, what I can write here is add, for example, removes, I removed Firebase, thanks, added camera X. And you can see it is there. Here you will see the comments. If you tap enter here, you will see the files. Okay, you can press escape to get one line and basically here you can check the other comments also. Here there is the branches. I can create a new branch. As you can see, first of all, there is this arrow here, arrow up. It means that there is a commit I have commit, I didn't push it. What I can do to push it, just imagine, it's shift P and it will be pushing. That's it. And the beauty of that, it can check the repo and see if there is some updates. Let me go back to this repository here. Here is this repository. Let me just add some readme files here, for example, just for the sake of committing. Yes, create readme, for example. If I go back here, well, I can press on R to do refresh. And here you will see the main with this down arrow. It means there is commit I didn't, I'm not having it here. So what I can do is simply click on P or tap on P. P for pulling and shift P for pushing. I can P and everything will go here. As you can see, create a readme, right? So this is one of the simplest things, one of the simplest Git client you can use. And it is really powerful. It can enable you to do things that weren't easy previously. For example, I can go here to the bit file here, like I have to do this on, on two parts. I want to stage here only the files. I want to stage here only some of the lines here. What I can do is that enter, and here I will tap on this and this, and I want to introduce, as you can see here in the staged file, only this two deletion, this and this. I want to keep this, for example, or let me just press on escape. Let me just do it again, enter. I want like this one to happen on its own. You can do something like that. I can go back right now. As you can see, this is mm. This is the state file. This is what will be pushed in the commit, and this will remain. I can do C, for example, the removing the Google Play services. If I go here to this one, I will see only this change. 
and I will keep these two for another commit. Let's say you have plans for that. Well, we'll use that one. And then I can, for example, push that alone and like, I can do that, removing Firebase dependencies. This is one thing, as you can see, it is two here. On each part, there is different menus. Click on X and you will see you can do new branch with this and you can create directly pull requests, directly pull requests from here with O. For example, let me check this one. Well, here I can't check it because there is some stashes here. I have to stash, well, this is great success for stashing. You can stash things, like you can space to stash them and you can press on S. S will do the stashes. For example, like what I've been doing here, I didn't add a message, but you can see here, if I go to the stashes here, there is this one, all the things are here. The previous one, like if I tap on enter, I will see the different files on this stash. And if you press on X here, you will see the different menu here. You can apply this one, drop it, pop it, create a new branch for it, and like all the other things. Now, if I go back here, for example, I can check other branches with the space like that. Okay, and this is not pushed, I think, so I have to do Control or Shift P. It will tell me like the origin upstream. I will tell it this one. It will push it. And from here, I can press on O. This will create this one. Like here, from here, I'm not able to like compare changes between these two branches because I don't know why. But here you can create the pull request direct. You don't have to go here to your GitHub thing and start looking for the branch and then create pull request. Like here you will gain massive time just by using this client. And there is many things. Let me just go back here. Let me just undo the stashes. Yes, I can get it back like that. Here, for example, I can amend comments like always. For example, let's just say I want to amend the main activity to the previous copy. What I can do is shift A. Are you sure you want to amend the last commit? Yes, it will amend it here. As you can see, the hash will be changed. And there is many things here, for example, like there is this rewards commit for R, for example, if I want to change the commit message, like this is really powerful. Previously, it was a little bit hard to change that one. Move dependencies and adding camera X into life for the activity or something. The hash will be changed, of course. There is even something powerful like I didn't see before. You can like realign the commits. Like I want this commit to come after this commit. How are you able to do that? Well, I click on the X here. There is this move commit down one. As you can see, control G, for example, I can do control G and it will be removed. Conflicts about press, ah, okay, exactly. So here sometimes you will get like uh, merging things, merging stuff. Well, for the merging stuff, I won't do it with this client. I normally use Android Studio to do that. I can press escape here or otherwise X, I will press escape and this action won't happen. Or I can, for example, like, this one and this one, control G. And as you can see, we don't have merge conflicts here, so it won't very well here, as you can see. And it is working pretty fine, like this is really powerful. There is many other stuff like squash commits, bisect reset, there is normal resetting options. If you go here, for example, click on the X, there is this, where is the reset options? The G, you can go here to the G, you will see soft reset, mixed reset, hard reset. You can go back to reset to specific commit, like, it is really powerful. And the beauty of that is that you use only shortcuts, shortcuts to do all the stuff. And this is really a game changer in the Git uh, file. Well, I don't know if you see it worth it or not, but for me, like doing this Git stuff, like even in Android Studio, like you do like normal uh, mouse thing, but with keyboard shortcuts, you will gain very valuable time. Well, I don't think it is big like it is the difference will be maybe one second in each operation but like we are committing a lot we are pushing a lot like if you add these seconds across one day across one week of our day-to-day -day job this will gain like a lot of time so this is one of the way i use to be like more productive developer if we might say that and yeah try to check it see different options like there is many options i don't use here like i don't know about even like for example, cherry pick comments here, like this stuff I don't use. You can rebase things here. You can, for example, open commit a browser. No, like many variable options. Here, if you check the official, like there is a lot of customization you can do. This video directly from the creator. Here, this video is awesome. Like there is this 15 lazy git feature. And there is many other stuff going on here. For example, if you go to the wiki here, you will see some comments, integration, no, I think it's called lazy git shortcuts. Key binding, okay. 
So there is many stuff going here, like key, global key binding. And for each panel, as I said, there is stuff, specific stuff. You can see them here or directly in the client. So definitely this worth checking and experimenting with. It will like increase your, as I said, productivity and your experience with Git. So definitely this tool will help you have great experience when using Git because we use Git all the time. You can't stop doing that, of course. It will really help you. I, it's really helped me and I wanted to share this with you. So yeah, this is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.